Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are the top 15 uses of the OTG adapter or the OTG cable that will blow your mind. Some are just for show and some have practical application and some are simply stupid. So let's get crazy. First we can connect a keyboard and a mouse. Well it's not for everyone but just imagine. Connect your phone to a Chromecast or cast the screen to your television. You can now use your phone as a computer. If you have a shattered screen, then you can also connect a mouse and do some basic stuff like taking a backup of your contacts. Next we can even connect a USB hub and then connect mouse and the keyboard all at once. Next we can power USB devices like USB fan and a USB light. Well this is crazy but I did try it once and your battery will drain faster because of this but it does come in handy. These are Xiaomi products and you can find cheaper Chinese products but I would recommend you to stick with Xiaomi ones instead. We can connect even an SD card reader and it does work. Let's say you want to quickly check images from your camera or a DSLR. This is a very quick solution. Next we can connect game pads or game controllers and play games like Asphalt 8. This is something you can actually use. Next we can connect hard drives and pen drives. Most of the devices support pen drives and only few support hard drives. If you get a clicking sound from your hard drive, just remove it immediately. And always eject your pen drives before you remove them or else the files will get corrupted. Next we can even charge other phones using the OTG adapter. Next we can connect a portable DAC or an amp to improve the audio experience. I personally use this setup with my Nexus 6 and now with HTC M9. These are some crazy ones which I hope no one has to use. We can connect a LAN cable to access internet. To do this, we need a LAN to USB converter or an adapter. Next we can connect your phone to a DSLR to control all the functions of a DSLR and access files from the DSLR. Next we can connect a USB sound card just in case if your audio jack stops working or I don't know why you want to do that. And finally, you can connect it to a Type-C adapter and do all the above with phones with a Type-C port. So that's pretty much it for this video guys. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you do, hit that like button and stay tuned to us by subscribing to our channel. I'll catch up with you in my next video. Until then, have a nice day.